Hi, I'm Clay from EMF, and I was just going to do a quick video on people seeing movement in their upper ball joint when they're greasing it. Now, when it's a new ball joint and they're greasing it, they're seeing a little bit of forward and back movement, and it, they're using pneumatic or automatic greasers. Uh, what they're doing is they're turning their ball joint into a hydraulic ram, and the ram is pushing the knuckle apart, so it's flexing it. So they'll grease it, they'll grease it, and it'll flex the knuckle apart, and then the grease will bypass between the pin and the insert, and the knuckle will come back, and then they'll grease it, and they think that there's a problem with their ball joint. What it is, it's a problem with them because they didn't read the instructions. It says not to use the automatic greaser. The automatic greaser can create up to 10,000 PSI. The 10,000 PSI pressing on the back of this 1.1 uh, diameter face can create up to 9,000 pounds of force. It also is a high, uh, high volume grease gun, so it will push more grease that can escape through this, which is why it turns into a hydraulic cylinder. So I'll show you, watch this here. We're gonna start greasing it. See it pushing it apart. And then it coming back together. You getting it on here? comes back and forth. So guys will do this and they're like, oh, your ball joints are loose, your ball joints are loose. But what it is, is they just pay so much attention to everything that they don't actually pay attention to the instructions. And then they miss this, this whole entire part right here. And that's Clay's tip of the day.